Mama Rama was with. How did they live in there? Mom, here's a quick question. How did you get the animals for the exhibit? Why were they stuffed? Why were they built? I think, yeah, why were the dioramas built? In the late 1920s and early 30s, when the dioramas were being built, the academy was a very quiet place. The exhibition cases held birds, insects, minerals, specimens of all kinds, but there wasn't a sense of liveliness in these, and it was the goal of the academy to make it as lively as possible. Displaying animals apart from their habitat excludes important information about them. For example, this doll sheep's hooves have tough pads adapted to grip onto these jagged, precarious slopes. At the time the dioramas were first made, there was no television, and it was almost impossible for anyone to get to these remote parts of the world. So the idea was to create or recreate those habitats so that visitors here to the Academy could see and experience that part of the world firsthand. The Academy went through a shift of displaying its exhibits uh, basically with animals of the same kind in rows, to displaying them in dioramas. Because the curators and the scientists and the staff at the time really saw the value in showing these animals in their natural context, showing them together how they interplay and connect with their environments. Of course, it would have been possible to simply show off the taxidermy specimen. Here is a moose, here is a gorilla. But the idea was to create as accurate a habitat as possible, something that people would never be able to see in person, but that the scientists knew existed. They had studied carefully and they related to those animals. In order to create a vast landscape in a very small space, artists had to create the illusion of depth and elevation. Curved walls and clever tricks of every kind were used to achieve this. The dioramas have a great deal of detail in them, but they also have a sense of life. And I think that has transposed itself all the way into the present time.